is going to be my first time out on a photo walk with the Fujifilm X-T5, which you can expect to see a lot more of going forward. This isn't a camera review or impressions video, but I will say that in the short time that I've owned it, I've been really enjoying it and I'm excited to take it out more, especially to use for video purposes. But anyway, we'll be in Tateishi today to explore and enjoy another relaxing walk in one of the older neighborhoods in Tokyo. Man, this place is so run down. But I like the character already. Everything's closed. This is, this looks pretty old too, but it's a little more active and it's a little newer than the other side we were just at. Actually pretty sad that most of that seems closed because I was kind of hoping there'd be more activity. Well, let's go down there. Yeah, I don't know if all the stuff's closed because it's like they, they just, you know, they went out of business or if it's just the wrong day of the week. When you look on Google Maps, it says everything should be open, so maybe I just have to come back at a different time, check it out again. That's a sight. Like, I wonder how many of these buildings are just abandoned. Maybe this just left their trash.
Oh, there's a dead end. Oh, okay. Man, these places are so run down. There's a bicycle gear. It doesn't look in that bad shape. Huh. Well, you can never tell when places are like actually abandoned or they're just really old. <laughs> place so old. Oh, these are like menu items. Dang. Right, we're trying something a little wider, but it was one of the first lenses I got, which is the thirty three millimeter. 1.4 which uh, in full frame terms it's, it's basically a 50 millimeter equivalent so It's active at night. So far, most of these places are closed. I huh. guess we'll go back in. Yeah, I really want to know what this is like at night.
some flowers. I'm completely unfamiliar with this area, so, you know, I'm just looking for points of interest as we go. You know, if I see something in the distance, I'll head towards it. And I guess that's kind of how I do most of my photo walks. Is this a symphony hall? Yeah, it looks like it. You know, it's because I'm like still getting, this is actually my first time, you know, taking this out on a street photography photo walk and maybe it's because I'm not used to the camera yet and I'm still learning it. Um, I'm finding that I'm t really taking my time a lot more. I'm not as uh, quick on the trigger as I am with my other cameras, which eh, may or may not be a bad thing. Fifties. It's nice for most photography, but uh, for a lot of this like old town stuff that I do, I actually think something like a twenty-eight or a thirty-five would be better. Um, I don't have it. I don't have the uh, thirty-five 
prime yet for Fuji, but I'm planning to pick that up soon. I, I think that'll be better for the kind of photography that I'm doing right now. I am so much slower with this camera, which, uh, you know, it's like knowing that it's kind of forcing me to like be a little more patient, which, uh, you know, that can't be a bad thing. So really, you know, I'm really curious to see, uh, you know, how I grow into this camera over the next few months. It's kind of neat. Got all these vending machines too. Oh, man. <laughs> I need to hurry up and pick up that XF thirty five uh XF twenty three F two. Some weird architecture. I like it. car passed by and I was like, oh, that kind of matched with the sun. I should have taken a picture. Yeah, I should have taken a picture. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, is it closed? Oh, that's weird. Huh. I guess it's closed. It doesn't even look that run down. It's a big one, too. Especially for Tokyo. <laughs> How do you even get to that house? There's a house over there that's completely overgrown. I just need to figure out how to get over there.
Busy park. Dang. Everyone and their mom is there. <laughs> Not a lot. It's kind of nice though. Like seeing an empty park is kind of sad, but when you see it full of, you know, families and kids hanging out, can't help but smile a bit. see so many patrol cars and um, you know cops on bicycles normally you hardly ever see them but there's always like that one day of the month in Japan where they're all out in force and it's really weird it's a very blue building Yeah, let's go down here a bit. I think I'll be wrapping up soon, so I don't want to keep straying too far off from the train station that I'm going to leave from. If you're wondering why I keep taking two photos a lot of times is because you know sometimes once I'll take a horizontal photo and then I'll take a vertical photo which honestly I guess I don't really need to do that anymore because this camera has a 40 megapixel sensor so honestly I could probably just crop it and not have to bother with that anymore but it's just a habit I have from my um, shooting with my Z5 
definitely could have been a lot better. It's too slow. Definitely could have gotten a better angle. It's always weird seeing like, you know, like brand new houses and then juxtaposed with all the old houses. Decisions. I'm gonna go this way and then I'm gonna come back. <laughs> I just like that. Uh, yeah, I just like shiny yellow lights. <laughs> wide enough this, this may not be wide enough oh there's a dude there Backtracking. I know. I just like old things. I can't help it. probably enough for today this is uh the other side of the road from where we started earlier but um yeah i think that's enough photos um hope you guys enjoyed that i know it wasn't so much street photography it was more just documentary and urban work but yeah i do like do it, making these kind of videos from time to time because i love exploring these older areas of tokyo so yeah i'll see you guys back at home after I turned off my GoPro, I spent some time walking around inside the Shotengai and I found a few posters that indicated some of the shops would be open during the week. So maybe next time I'll have to come during the week and hopefully there'll be a lot more activity. Turns out a Sunday afternoon is one of the worst times to go because that's when, you know, the few, <laughs> many of the few remaining shops take their holidays. So. Anyway though, I hope you guys enjoyed the more laid back walk. I decided to do one of these types of videos because I'm still getting used to the X-T5. I haven't fully adjusted to it and I can't, you know, rapid fire lock onto scenes like I can with my Rico or with the Z5 yet, so. Let me know if you'd like to see this place at night. Um, there's a couple places there that looked like they were mostly izakaya, so I was kind of wondering if they would be a lot more lively. I don't know though, but it might be worth checking out. Otherwise, that's all I got for today, so thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.